Hi, Intuitive D, 1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. Let's get into this thing. Um, if you want to win or be entered to win a mini reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video that you enjoy, and leave me a comment. So what do we have here? Oh, okay. So y'all not talking to somebody here. Or they're not talking. Whatever the situation is here, there could have been some type of misunderstanding with somebody or you've just pulled back your energy here. Um, somebody feels like the space between you both is very heavy. Okay. <sighs> Oh, shit. Okay, so somebody could be thinking about you guys a lot throughout the day here, um, especially when they're at home. Maybe there's certain memories that they have with you. Someone feels like they're reminded of you everywhere, okay? Um, especially if you you um, really were getting to know somebody, okay? You could have felt like home to somebody as well. Somebody could be pissed off, y'all. Okay, we have getting caught, secrets revealed, exposed, guilty confessions here. Somebody could be upset with different things going on around the home or within their life here. Um, or somebody here is not speaking their truth here. Yeah, but we have over here, it says, I find myself reminiscing on how it used to be between me and you. So it's giving somebody that wants y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. But maybe they don't know how to make that happen here. Or maybe they're still going through something here. What do we have here? Yeah, we have I love you here. I'm not giving up. I want you. So somebody still has some type of love when it comes for you. But at the same time, the gift card in reverse is like the six of pentacles in reverse. So maybe somebody felt like it was one sided here. Or maybe someone feels like they're not receiving your time, your love, your affection anymore. Maybe somebody didn't recognize the gift that they had right before them that the divine had give, gave them. And the divine said, okay, so you're not recognizing what you have. Let me go ahead and take that on back. Yeah. So at the end of the day, somebody is thinking some type of promise, okay? It says, I want to make a commitment. So maybe somebody over here wants to work on a commitment, or this could very well be somebody here um, that wasn't ready for a commitment. Take it as it, as it resonates for you and your situation here. Regardless of what you guys are going through, a lot of different people, you know, are clearing karmic debts right now, right? Um, with all these planets retrograde, it could be painful for a lot of people. It's pulling up old wounds, right? Especially with Chiron retrograde. So I feel like the divine is encouraging you guys to continue to have faith, okay? That your circumstances are going to change in whatever it is that you're going through here. Okay. So then we have over here a side piece, okay? So somebody not looking for love, nothing serious, okay? In and out the door, is given like Knight of Wands energy here. <laughs> Maybe somebody is upset at somebody that they had on the side or a third party that they were dealing with. Okay, somebody's third party could be upset with you. It's like what I'm also picking up here is it only take it if it resonates because for some of you, maybe there's only one main karmic that somebody's dealing with. For others of you, there could be multiple different third parties that somebody has gone to with the 333 card here. Okay, and whoever, whoever they've been dealing with here could be pissed off at you and you don't even really know these people. Okay, so it's, it's, it's almost the energy of, um, I don't know, someone like someone's third party could have legal issues as well. Okay, or there could be something shady up with them. Um, for some of you, someone's third party could have done something where they're going to end up in jail. Or even when they even when they're getting out, okay, they're they're still on some bullshit here. Okay, because someone's still mad that somebody is investing in you in some type of way. Okay, so whether you feel like someone's not investing in you or not, they still feel like someone's love or somebody's energy or their attention is focused towards you. Okay, and somebody's been trying to hide that, but somebody's third party knows what's up. Or whoever they've been dealing with, yeah. We have over here, sorry. It says, I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused you and I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. Okay, but this did kind of fly out in reverse here. So for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody that really was not apologetic for their actions. 
Okay, this is somebody, for some of you, somebody could have love bombed you. I'm definitely seeing that here. Or somebody was wearing a mask, you know, but the, the mask only lasts for so long here. Okay, I feel like you started to see the truth about somebody or a situation here. And you pulled yourself out of, out of that. Because someone is definitely going through the dark night of the soul here. Okay, someone could be battling depression here. Somebody could be feeling like, you know, things aren't going right. Um, things are falling apart for them. Okay, they could be, you know, you guys could have gotten in some in an argument. Someone could have gotten an argument inside the home or by a home as well. I'm seeing somebody sin, sitting and thinking about you guys a lot. Okay, this is what they do, whether they're at work or whether they're at home. But especially when they're at home, it hits them different here. Okay, and then we have unspoken here. It says there's so much yet to be spoken here. Somebody really needs to get it off their chest, what they have to say to you. With this in reverse here... It shows that somebody doesn't want to continue with the way things have been here. Somebody does want to express their truth. Most likely gonna, they're going to let you know that they're sorry, um, Okay, that they're going through a lot, Okay, that somebody's entire world or paradigm is being shifted here. Okay, This could also be somebody that's trying to keep some type of faith um, within their life in general here, because I'm definitely picking up that somebody could be, um, battling some type of anxiety. Somebody could be paranoid as well. Um, they could, someone could have dealt with a, a situation where they got cheated on in the past. Okay. So maybe they were afraid that you're going to cheat on them. Okay. Or they really revealed themselves to a past person and that past person was toxic as hell. And, you know, now they're afraid that you're going to be that way or whatever the situation is. Somebody could just be upset that they wasted time with Carmisha or Quan. Okay. So take it as it resonates here. Yeah. It says, I want to take the honoring path towards you. I'm taking responsibility for my situation first, mine. So it's like someone's still trying to take ownership over y'all or someone still feels a connection with y'all here. Um, but they know there's other things they need to situate within their life first, whether this is a past or a newer person that you've been dealing with. Okay. Somebody is definitely going through it. And I feel like someone has a lot of fears. Okay. Um, someone could definitely feel lost without you. They're filling the void without you. Maybe you were someone that they confided in or someone they felt a lot of comfort with. Um, I feel like someone is suppressing. Okay whether they, you know, have a heavy ego or whatever it is here, deep down, somebody is afraid and insecure, okay, about what's going on within their life, their next steps here. Somebody could have also been very immature with how they dealt with you. Or maybe you guys both, you know, were doing tit for tat or petty within a, a, a situation. Just take it how it resonates here. Yeah, but there's a lot of love here. Somebody is recognizing that. Okay, so it's, it's somebody definitely, they want to heal things with you, but I feel like they want to heal things within as well. Now, for some of you, they could have gave love to the wrong person here, okay? Maybe they uh, gave into temptation here. Maybe they gave a lot of love to a third party and a third party sure as hell didn't deserve it, okay? They could be pissed off at themselves for falling into that trap here. Yeah, but the divine is saying, listen, okay, let go of fear here. So someone that you're dealing with could very well have a blocked root chakra, okay? Because that's where we carry a lot of our fears, a lot of our traumas. Um, yeah, somebody over here, they could have, someone could have a fear of love as well. Or, or really just being open and vulnerable with one person. So they really could have went for a more shallow connection here. Okay. Or they feel like they've been dealing with somebody where it's pretty much all about that person. Or they feel like that person is draining them, whether it's emotionally or whether it's financially, whatever the situation is here. Someone's going through some type of transformation. Okay. Some type of awakening here. Yeah. Somebody does feel like they had a blessed connection with you here. And I feel like you guys are very blessed, right? I feel like you're continuing to show more gratitude for the people that do show up to support you within your life. And if you don't even see a lot of that around, I feel like the divine is removing those that are not meant to be on your path and connecting you in with your soul tribe, right? Um, 
but I definitely see here that there's some type of blessing that's coming towards you guys for everything that you've been going through here. And this is also talking about, you know, whoever you're dealing with, especially if they're going through a dark night of the soul, you know, them remembering to have faith, right? Them remembering that they are blessed, that things will, in fact, turn around for them. Because it's almost the energy of somebody just kind of um, giving up hope in life or just going through the motions here. Yeah. And with unsure and indecisive here, you could have been dealing with somebody like this. Or you just decided, you know, that you just don't have time to play games with someone. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody needs to figure themselves out, figure out their direction as well. Okay. Some of you guys could be making a decision as well on who you want to partner together with. So I definitely see that here. Okay. What else? What else do you guys need to know? <sighs> what else does the collective need to know? Anything else from this deck? Yeah, that somebody's watching you here. There's some type of big change that's coming in here. There's somebody watching you, most definitely. Um, there's also somebody that's watching this person, okay? It's watching this person's stability, watching who they're partnering together with. Um, I'm also seeing the Five of Cups. So somebody is very upset. Someone's very um, depressed about some type of situation. Like I said, yet again, that they invested in for a long time here. Maybe somebody feels, yeah, somebody over here they're dealing with... <laughs> And yeah, we got a crazy ex in the mix. So we got Karmisha or Kwan here. Okay, that could be keeping an eye on this person. Okay, watching, watching what they're doing, watching whether or not they're going towards you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Never know that. Yeah, something about somebody's home here. That's what it's about here. I feel like you guys are very focused on your stability right now. Okay, and also maintaining your your peace, right? And I feel like there's someone that is definitely fixated on you. Whether it's an ex of yours or it's Karmisha or Kwan, whoever this person is, um, somebody feels like they're unwelcome in your energy. Or somebody is unwelcome in this person's energy that's in yours, okay? There's been some type of... Uh, there's been some type of disagreement here. Some type of drama. Okay, so it's now somebody been sitting at home alone and they're realizing it's like no more waiting, now or never. Somebody has to take moves or take action to do something different. Okay, they either need to come in and speak their truth here or they need to take action towards you. Somebody needs to stop letting fear get in the way here or they really need to, um, the divine's like, listen, no more waiting. It's time for you to disconnect from whatever third party this is that's bad shit crazy. <laughs> Take it as it resonates, y'all. What is this? Yeah, we got addiction here. Okay, it also says obsession, right? I feel like somebody over here is, um, they're not at peace not knowing what, what it is that you have going on here. So de someone definitely could be obsessed with y'all. Someone definitely could have different type of addictions here. Someone definitely could be addicted to you and your energy, okay? Maybe they thought it was nothing for them to be able to disconnect with you, right? Maybe they thought, okay, you know, I'm him or I'm her. I can go on and do my thing. But I feel like the reality is if someone feels like you feel like home to them here and they feel like they've made some bad decisions either based on who else they were connecting to Okay, whether they went towards or went back to someone, take it as it resonates here, or they made bad choices because they had not properly healed from a past traumatic uh, experience with a third party that was crazy as hell. Yeah. We have wisdom, death. This is giving me eighth house energy here. This is also showing me that, you know, you guys have a lot of wisdom. You're also very tempting to somebody here, but I feel like someone here... Um, 
I don't know, they fell for the okie doke, right? Maybe they thought that something was uh, beautiful and nutritious on the outside, right? And then they took a bite out of it and they realized it was all for show, okay? That they, the apple was really just rotten, that somebody wasn't who they were portraying themselves to be here. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. I feel like you guys were very nourishing to somebody. Okay, you were very loving or supportive to somebody. But for some of you guys, they could have pulled out a different side of you as well. Because I feel like you were dealing with somebody that um, that could have started to treat you disrespectfully. Okay, or somebody that could have been cold or detached. Or they started off taking action towards you. They started off, you know, being caring and all these other different things. And then you started to see, okay, over time, whatever that time period was, it doesn't matter. Okay that this person, you know, was hurting and taking that hurt out on you. Yeah, uh-uh. I feel like you guys don't have time to deal with that. It says, I worry about you a lot here. So someone is definitely watching you. You could even have an ex that's watching you in another situation here. Okay, they could be worried about you within that situation. Maybe they still got a third party that they were dealing with. Um but their focus is still on you and what you have going on here. Yeah, and somebody feels like a damn fool here. That's what I'm saying. Somebody feels like a someone feels like a fool. Someone also was playing too much. Yeah, so whether this is Carmisha or Quan or whether this this person could feel like a fool for giving so much to somebody that's not really fucking with them. Okay, or giving so much, so much to somebody where um, maybe the love isn't even genuine. Some of you, the love is not even there, right? Somebody is really realizing that somebody was using them and they feel like a fool because of that. Okay, this could also be somebody that is contributing a lot to, you know, a home or a family. And then they feel like that person, you know, is being fake nice to them, right? Acting like they care about them. But in reality, a third party here could just want this person to take care of everything. So now somebody could be looking over at you because they're feeling like, okay, well, you actually love them or you actually, you know would have balanced things out with them and they're not experiencing that in whatever situation that they're in here. Yep. We got runaway here. Mirror. Basic. Yeah, somebody trying to run away from a basic ass connection. I can't make this shit up. Yeah. Living in a fantasy world here. It's like someone needs to put the wheels in motion here. Okay, somebody could have definitely fell for some type of illusion here with a third party. And they're thinking about that. Okay, they're thinking about all the time they gave to somebody that they felt like really <clears throat> is, is, is not really even caring about them. Or somebody that they can't even build with. Okay, someone could also make excuses when it comes towards them. Um adamantly trying to open up more money avenues to help stability. So somebody could be dealing with somebody that's lazy or doesn't want to work too. Okay. Take it as it resonates here. It's, it's, it's giving very entitled energy and somebody is realizing that. Yep. So somebody could be afraid of opening up or they're not speaking in their truth here. They're back. They're still battling from the pain of whatever type of illusion that they were living in with this third party that they were dealing with here <clears throat> some of you guys decided that you're just you're not going to give to this situation anymore okay because somebody over here they bit off more than they could chew especially if they play games with y'all they bit off more than they can chew right because you guys are moving out of love and light from your heart from the divine here and now somebody feels like you're very mysterious, right? They're, they're, they're wondering what it is that you're thinking here. Because many of you guys, you're not speaking. You've pulled back your energy. Yet again, it's like, it says the unspoken apology, eternal regret. For some of you, someone has too much ego to even apologize. But they know that they did you wrong. And for a lot of you, there's some type of karma that they're experiencing for how they treated you. 
Okay. It's like somebody definitely could have did something and didn't want to take accountability for it. And then they could have got mad at you for your response. Yeah, y'all don't got time for that. <laughs> you really don't here. Now somebody's thinking about how they could have been lovers and friends with you, right? How they lost somebody that was really caring, that was really supportive, that was also sexy. Whatever the situation is here, somebody is missing all of that. Because now they're realizing that they're dealing with people that really don't give a damn about them here. And they got this crazy ass ex in the background, okay, right here that they went towards or they went back to that could be trying to curse y'all and do all types of different dark things against you and it's all backfiring here. Like somebody really needs to just put the candle work down, put the mirror, like put, put cover the mirror. Like I don't know what this third party is thinking, but I can feel it. I could pick that shit up right here in the energy here. It's like if they were trying to do some type of death magic to end something for you or, or to take you all the way out, that shit is backfiring. Somebody needs to stop playing around. That's what I keep seeing here. All because somebody love y'all and want to be with y'all. <sighs> okay. Or it's an ex that is upset because you have another partnership coming in. So what is it that the divine needs to know here, please? What is it that the, um, I'm sorry. What is the, uh, what does the collective need to know, right? But yes, you guys are divine beings. So let's go. Page of Pentacles here. There's some type of communication. Okay, somebody wants to speak their truth to you. They do. Somebody also feels like they need to get their shit together as well. But somebody could be learning a new skill as well. Someone, yeah, somebody that you have some type of bond with or that has some type of a connection with you, right? It could be soulmate energy here or is somebody that there's a lot of attraction. Somebody wants to speak to about coming together with you. Yeah. Or working on some type of situation with you with the four of wands here. I feel like you guys have a choice here. Yeah, with the justice card here, someone could be thinking about a divorce or they could actually, someone could actually be thinking about a new home as well. Because this could even be a new, a new lease here. But there's some type of karma playing out for somebody that you're dealing with. I feel like someone does want to make amends. Someone does want to clear the air because y'all are the star, period. So somebody definitely wants to heal things with you. They could feel like you're out of, of their reach here. They could already feel like you're very intuitive. They can't come to you with any BS. Okay, somebody could definitely be going through some type of legal issues with a third party here. Yeah, there's some type of drama in the background here. It could be drama over money. Yeah, we got the Empress here. Growth and expansion is here for you guys. Period. Period. Somebody is seeing that they could have had everything with you here. Damn. And the high priest or high priestess, y'all are no joke here. Somebody should have thought twice before breaking your heart is what I'm seeing. And whenever this happened that they did it, whether it was recently or a long time ago, somebody's getting karma for breaking your heart. That's what I'm seeing. If they really thought things that they were going, that things were going to be smooth for them after hurting you, the divine's like, nope, let me go ahead and lay it down for you. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Let me go ahead and lay the situation down for you, for you to really see. Yep. Because I feel like you guys are laying a situation to rest here. You are. You're cutting someone or something out here. I feel like you guys are. Yeah, you see the truth about something with the sun card here. What does what the collective need to know? Yeah, the four of cups here. You guys are uninterested. So whether you're, you're, you're uninterested, you're healing from a situation here or someone feels that you're uninterested, whether this is someone that rejected you in the past and now they feel rejected or flip it around how it goes here. Um, you guys just don't have time for the drama here. You also don't have time for it. No one that's for someone that doesn't see your worth right off the bat. I feel like it was way too many burdens within a situation and you're releasing that here. 
yeah you're releasing and you're being logical at this time here and then there's someone else coming towards you to communicate or this person's going to be communicating within eight days or eight weeks take it as it resonates but i feel like you're ready for new energy so that's what's coming towards y'all so i love that for you let me go ahead and let me click this sorry this setting here before i lose my video all right So ultimately, by the time somebody gets it together to speak their truth, a lot of you guys are uninterested. You're already healing. You're on to something else here. Or you're dealing with somebody that's going through a lot of mental issues, okay? And they're discontent with a lot of different things in their life. So they're not happy with anything that, that they're being blessed with at this time. And that's a them issue. <laughs> yeah, because you deserve peace, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, look at somebody's inconsistent actions, right? That shows you exactly exactly who you're who you're fucking with. Whatever the excuse is that somebody wants to give for why they've been un inconsistent, you don't have time for it here. Why? Because you're ever growing and becoming who you need to be. And if this person um wants to be wants to move forward in a higher timeline, and align their life in a positive way, they need to be con more consistent with the way that they treat people. Yep, they do. Yeah, it's saying don't get lost in the sauce. Somebody else's mess. Focus, continue to focus on you and your goals here. You guys have a lot of gifts. Continue to utilize them and value what you've been blessed with. So put me some hearts and some crowns down below. Um, love you guys. Thank you for spending time with me. Namaste.